Hi, this is Debbie from Soikan. You're watching Trucker Josh with his friend Diesel. Enjoy the show. Good morning, everybody. It's another new day. We just unloaded our OSB board here in uh, Nebraska, Lincoln, Nebraska. There's my last piece right there. He's gonna put it inside and I'm gonna head on down to St. Joseph. So as soon as they make room for me here, I gotta drive past them there. Maybe if I start inching forward, they'll, they'll move. Is that rude? A little hint, a little push? I can wait. They're doing something with paperwork there. So our next load is in St. Joseph, Missouri, which is about three hours from here. We gotta take the back roads because the main roads are closed. Interstate 29 is closed and I don't know why, but we gotta take the back way, the scenic way. Can we go now? Is that a little aggressive? A little bit of a hint? <laughs> make our way there it's already 1 30 so when they're two we're, we'll only be there at 4 30 or 5 o'clock so i might not even get loaded today i mean i know the trailer there is already loaded but i don't know if they close their gates at a certain time for some reason i think that they close up East at like Fletcher avenue toward north 84th street for some reason i think that they close up at three o'clock i'm pretty sure that last time i was there they told me that they go home at three which means i won't make it there today which means I'll have to sleep there and go get my load in the morning. Which I mean is fine by me, whatever. It's, right on North Street. it's about a day's drive home from there, a little over. Close my windows, it's dusty around here. But uh, if, we, if we only have to get loaded tomorrow, I'm fine with that. Whatever. Let's see if I can get onto the road here. Awesome. Apparently, 1.30 rush hour. I guess it's lunchtime. Everybody's going back to work. I have no idea. Continue on North 84th Street. Six on North 84th Street. Okay, so I got both GPSs going on me here. I'm going to listen to Google because Google knows which roads are closed. Mandy does not. So I'm going to silence Mandy here. We'll just pay attention to Google today. There is construction and road closures everywhere around Omaha and Council Bluffs. Everywhere. Everything is under construction. And if it's not under construction, the entire road is just closed. Like, check it out on Google. I don't know, by the time you watch this, maybe they will have opened the interstate, but I-29 from north of Omaha all the way down into Missouri, like, it seems like hundreds of miles, closed. What happened? I thought I heard someone talk about that there was a flood or something, that there was flooding, but I don't see any flooding. <laughs> So it was a little frustrating. It took me a little longer than I wanted to to get to my customer today to deliver this freight. So now I'm behind and I probably won't get my new load till tomorrow morning because of that. Because it's going to take me longer to get to St. Joseph now as well because of this. But I'm not really complaining. I mean, we get to see the scenic route. And uh, at the same time, it's not going to slow me down. I mean, I'm not, I'll am not. i get home at around the same time anyways, like Friday, midday. And I'll probably stay home till like Sunday evening or so, Monday morning. See what they have for me. I haven't talked to them about that yet. And it's the safety blitz week. So, of course, every scale is open. I'm trying to get some of these bugs off my windshield. They just keep coming back. I love it so much. It mean, it, it, I love it so much it means that summer is here. I love seeing bugs on my windshield. It's so much better than seeing snow on my windshield. That truck ahead of me got called into the way station. He's gonna blow it. He's blowing the scale. Yeah, he just blew the scale. <laughs> You're gonna get chased down, buddy. It's blitz week. We both got called in. Oh, dude. 
I've never seen someone do that right in front of me before. He's gonna get in trouble. All right, let's see what they want with me here. I don't know if those guy, that guy's gonna get chased down or what. They're just letting him go. Okay. I know he may have the pre-pass inside his truck, but during the Blitz week, uh, I believe we all get pulled in. I mean, I have the pre-pass too, and they're telling me to come into every scale. They also had a sign that once you cross, there's a big sign that lights up and says, truck must exit. And it lit up for him, I saw it. He just drove right on past. Oh well. Maybe there's something going on that I don't understand. But they let me go anyways. They didn't really want to talk to me. I'm empty, so. I got nothing to show them. I feel light as a feather. So nice. I called the customer, the shipper, in St. Joseph, and I am going to be getting there after they leave, but uh, she's going to get all my paperwork ready for me so that I can grab my paperwork, hook onto my trailer, tie it down, and get going today. And so that's really nice of her. I appreciate that. Joseph, Missouri. This time I'm not gonna miss this turn. I'm gonna turn right here. The last two times I've missed this turn and gone straight. Haha! <laughs> On the right course. Our load is just down the street. It's an old part of town. It took forever to get here, but I guess it must be the river that's getting kind of high because I went over the river from Kansas to get it here to St. Joseph, Missouri. And yeah, the river was really high, really high. I'm pretty sure that was the Mississippi River that I crossed, right? That's the river that goes between Kansas and Missouri, right? I've taken you through, through here a couple of times, just every other time I've missed my turn. old part of town. So it looks like my trailer is sitting there waiting for me from what I've heard. All the paperwork's waiting there for me and I'll be able to leave with it today. It's much better than having to wait till the morning. I think I just keep going straight here, right? Green light, green light. It's a bit of a confusing intersection. Everything looks like it's good. Oh, how dare you? How dare you? There's not even anybody waiting. Oh, there's a guy, a guy over there. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. Guy off to the right, waiting for the green light. We're all stopping just for you, Mr. TX Valley, number 37. That's a big 37 on the side of his truck. Good for you. He was looking at me. Strange. Give me a dirty look. Why'd he give me a dirty look? Maybe he knows I was talking about him. Well, oh man, it was a long day yesterday evening loading that freight up. They had to unload half of it and then reload it. And some of the freight was damaged and I had to make a note of that. And then I got about maybe an hour and a half down the road. I don't even know where we are. Where are we? We're in a small town called, uh, where are we? Speak to me. Uh, Villisca, Iowa. We had to take the back roads because the interstate is closed. So this is where we ended up. 
little gravel parking lot. I was lucky I found this place. I pulled in here with four minutes left on my clock. Ah, oh well, let's go take a look at the load. So it's another hot one out here. Wow. And here's our load. So this stuff was easy to tie down, except that I had to move a bunch of the stuff on top because they had placed it on top in such a way that, again, I couldn't tie it down. So I put this stuff down here, a little piece down there. That's the only way I could tie that down. And it's just a whole bunch of steel. And you gotta make sure like these pieces are weaker then these pieces, different gauge, right? It's a much thinner piece of steel than this. So that stuff bends very easy and they got some of that stuff on top. So you gotta make sure that, uh, that you don't bend that and reap down on it too hard. It's all that stuff on top of there. They had to, uh, reload in this back section they had to unload and reload but that's what we're looking at there's more on top yet so we have to use straps on this stuff we can't use chains yeah, the stuff on top is very like I said very fragile very you gotta be very careful with it the stuff on the top is very fragile, so you have to be careful with it, and chains would wreck it. So you gotta use straps with corner pieces on each and every one. You gotta be very careful and gentle. And at the same time, you gotta be tough and strong to make sure that these big pieces don't fly off, right? These are heavy. They would do a lot of damage if they fell off your trailer. Don't want that. All right, Diesel, well, it's time to say goodbye to everybody. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.